Hello traders, this is the Daily Rundown, and what a hectic, topsy turvy choppy week we've had so far. If you want to look for a trend, look elsewhere. You're not going to find one here. Uh, but let's see. In the Let's start off with the Euro USD. It is interesting what we have here. We have a short-term wedge here between 136.85, and the, hey, the pair is right there right now, right here. And we have an ascending trend line that comes in around the 136. But if we skip back, skip back, skip back, Get back. Let's even go on a weekly chart because we need to go back like five years. Um, you can see even further. You can see that this pair is coming up on an ascending trend line that bam is right there and it could cause a little bit of trouble and that's what we have. We have a triangle between these two levels and until we get a break of that triangle we're going to have more chop in this range. Um, we get a break of 180.36.85. Hey, maybe we're going to look for the top. What I'm going to be looking for right now is to see if we get a, a push up to the top or the bottom and that's where I'm going to uh, look to maybe pay the rent, play the range for the next week or two uh, until we get a little momentum in one direction or the other. Great Britain USD, this is the same exact thing. We have a resistance zone between 165 and 166. I'd like to see a push up to this 166 level, and maybe that'll give us a ch give a chance to uh, see some sellers come in, and we can see a push lower. Or if we get a break of the bottom of this range at 163.40, let's say, and then we could see a push down to 162.50. But ultimately, we're just chopping along between 166 and 162.50, and gonna have to see direction in one way or the other. So playing the range could be the way to go. Um, New Zealand was the highlight of this week so far. We did see this triangle break, and then the pair went off. Onto a move, uh, off to a move uh, above 84. I would have thought it would move up to 85.40. Right now, right here, we're going to be watching this 84 level stop or hold here. If we can get, if we get, it gets a close right here, this 84, we could definitely see a continued push higher to the 85.40 level. And we also have the yen basically doing the same thing, trying to retake that 103.75 level. Can't really find a finger right now for this pair. We have a drift. Um, could see a push down. I would think we could see a push down to the 101. 60 or 101, which is actually the 55th from this move in the short term. That's it for today. That's the daily rundown. If you want to start receiving currency watching, you can go through all the trades and the key feed, most important, where I go over all the setups. I see harmonic fib, uh, fib trades, which I tend to do in Asia and Europe, and uh, some of the bigger stacker trades. Sign up today, uh, and you can see the results of all the uh, trading strategies on the blog. Everybody, good luck. See you in the, uh, see you in the AM.